So in this video, we're going to be solving 2003 Form B, number 5, Calculus ABFRQ. So it says, let f be a function defined on the closed interval 0 to 7. The graph of f consists of four line segments. Is shown above. Let g be the function given by g of x equals the integral from 2 to x f of t dt. It says find g of 3. So when we find g of 3, we want to find basically the area right here from 2 to 3. This area right here, which is the shape of a trapezoid. So the way that you're going to show this is you're going to do g of 3 equals the integral from 2 to 3 f of t dt is equal to h over 2. In this case, the height is 1. It's this. So it's 1 over 2, and the two bases are, this looks like it's 4, and this looks like it's a height of 2, so 4 plus 2. You have to tilt your head sideways or turn the paper sideways. That might help you see it. So now you're going to get, this is going to equal 1 half of 6, which is 3. Okay, the next part of the question says, what's g prime of 3? g prime of 3 is basically where is it at 3, which is 2. The next question says what's g double prime of 3. g double prime of 3 is a slope right here. So now you have a coordinate. You have 0, 4, actually 2, 4. My apologies, 2, 4. And your other slope, uh, your other coordinate is 4, 0. So if you want to find this, you're going to do 4 minus 0 over 2 minus 4, which is equal to 4 over negative 2, which equals negative 2. Okay, let's read part B of the question. So part B of the question says, find the average rate of change on the interval from 0 to 3. Okay, so if you want to find average rate of change, you got to do f of b minus f of a all over b minus a. So in this case, you're going to do, since it said 3 to 0, you're going to do, let me write that down, f of b minus f of a over b minus a, which equals 3 minus 0, or f or g of 3, in this case minus g of 0, over 3. That's how you're going to find your average, which equals the integral, but you have to have the 1 third. The, so g of 3, 2, g of 0, 0, that's how you get 1 third. So now you're going to get the integral from 0 to 3, f of t dt. So now you have one third. We need to find the area of zero. Let me change colors so that way it kind of stands out. Let's do red. So if you do zero to two, that might be an easier area to find because we already have the other area from the other part. So now when we do this, that's a triangle. So it's one half. Base times height, the base is 2, the height is 4, plus what we had before in part A when we solved it uh, in the original part, which was the trapezoid, the 1 half, 4 plus 2. Okay, now let's do the math. We're going to get 8, half of 8 is Four, so we're getting one third times four plus the three we had, and now we're going to get seven thirds. Okay, part C of this question says for how many values of C, where zero C is between C to three, is G prime of C equal to the average rate and found in part B? Explain. 
Well, 7 thirds is 2 and 1 third, so it's right here. There are definitely two places. So you would say there are two places, there are two values of C. Values of C. And you would say where 7 thirds equals f of c, which is equal to g prime of c. And there's going to be two lines that are going to intersect this. Okay. Part D says find the x coordinate of each point of inflection of the graph of g on the interval from 0 to 7. Justify your answer. So, point of inflection is this is a graph of the derivative shown. So point of inflection is where it changes direction and the slope also equals zero. So I'm going to change to blue. So if you look over here, this is definitely a point of inflection because it goes from positive to negative. This is a wannabe. It's negative to negative. This is also a point of inflection because it changes from negative to positive. So you would say for part D, x equals 2 and x equals 5 because g prime of f, it's actually, um, I wouldn't say the slope equals 0. It's actually, um, the slope is undefined there if you think about it. Well, yeah, it's, it's undefined because it, it does that little cusp corner thing. Um, but that's only for the derivative. So you would say changes from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing at these two particular points. And you should probably specify that the first one is 2. And the second one is five. I'm kind of out of room, but you could do that. I hope this video helps.